Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more FM 2017 with uh, Heath Rangers. It's the ultimate English challenge. And guys, I've got a new tactic and it works quite well. I have to say it does work quite well. Um, so this one is all about playing possession football. Um, whereas this one is all about, you know, launching it forwards. This works well. However, this one works much, much better because I have so much of the ball, it is absolutely crazy. So basically what this is, guys, is we get the, the support, we've got the wing-backs, inside wing-backs, I think they call them. Is it? In, oh, no, it's an inverted wing-back. Um, will function defensively much like a standard full-back or wing-back. However, while a normal wing-back will offer width to an attack, an inverted wing-back will attempt to drift inside and create space for players around him. So basically what's going to happen, this guy's going to come up here, he's going he's gonna to cut in. And then he's going to probably, he might pass it off to Spendlove, who will be on the outside. So, you know, on the overlap, um, which is something to keep an eye out for, because that does happen quite a lot. Phillips absolutely comes alive in this kind of formation. Absolutely comes alive. He's brilliant. He really is absolutely fantastic in this sort of position, uh, in, this, in this sort of thing. So basically, as you can see, the instructions are very, very simple. Much low tempo. Uh, rarely time waste, play very narrow, defensive line of uh, just a normal defensive line, um, prevent short goal kick distribution, um, use tight marking, get stuck in, retain possession, pass into space, play out of defence, you know, all of these sort of keep ball kind of situations um, works, works really, really well. All right, let's cancel that. Um, and let's go into player. So on this one, we want this one to hold position, this one to hold position, and him to hold position as well. So all three of these are the defensive kind of players. Well, these go off gallivanting down the uh, the left and the right-hand side. So you see Rome from position. Um, same on this side as well. And then on the inside here is get further forward. All of these are all get further forwards. Uh, so you've got so many people up in attack that really there's no excuse not to score. Dribble more, more risky passes, and moving into the channels. So there's a false nine there on support. So we've got a... This works really, really well, and you'll see it in the next episode, in the next game, or it should do in the next game. Let's have a look at the schedule so you can see uh, how we've been playing. So, as you can see, we were East Row, was it? We played in the Mid Sussex Junior Cup final, quarter final, should we say? Uh, I went and went to beat Stones two four one. Danny Spendlove, Danny Phillips, Reese Bachelor, and Dean Mason. Now look, seventy percent possession, and uh, eight shot, eight shots, seven on target. Real, real good result there for us. 3-0 then against Fair Warp 2. Um, 20 shots, 9 on target, 68% of the ball. Ashurst Wood 3, that's 3-1. Three, 14 shots, 6, 58 possession, slightly less. But Danny Phillips, D uh, Danny Spendlove and Jordan Harrison getting the goals for us there. And then Stones 2 once again, and this time in the Challenge Cup semi-final. So we've got through to the final, and it's Jake Gre Beecroft and Danny Phillips once again. Uh, 12 shots, 6 on target with 61% of the ball. West Hoverley 2. Now, this one was a very interesting game. Um, it all went into extra time, of course, as you can see, because we won on a penalty in the 108th minute. But we had so much of the ball, 74%. How the fuck they scored two, I, with, I have no idea. But um, the only time that Danny Phillips didn't actually score, um, I, he didn't have that much of a fantastic game there. In the Tester Challenge Cup semi-final, that means we're through to the final on that one. But it's the Mid-Sussex Junior Cup final that we're going to be playing to get, uh, today against Fairfield. Now, if we win this one, of course, then it's going to be the final that's going to be the final game of this particular season. But we're promoted already, guys. Um, we're first by absolute miles, and it's Kima and Hasek who are second at the moment. Oh, actually, is, this, is there a light green colour there? I think there is. I couldn't see before. But they'll be looking to uh, stave off Fair Warp 2 and get promoted themselves, will Kima and Hasek's. But let's continue on, guys. We're going to go to so team selection. We're going to quick pick it. No, we're not going to quick pick it. Aaron Williams. I'm going to use Jordan Harrison, actually, going forward. Now, I've got no decent false nine. This is the only problem. Oh, by the way, guys, you can actually get this uh, particular tactic on uh, Steam Workshop. It's known as... Dominant football, is it, or something like that? Now, it really is a very good tactic. Th I'm always one for trying out different tactics and different people's tactics because I'm terrible at, at doing it. I'm really, really bad at doing tactics. I'm going to have to change this guy, though, because it's not exactly fit. He's got 80%, so Ben Sampaio is going to get a game for the first time in I don't know how long. Um, Dan, Ben, Aaron Williams, 
It's the only really out and out striker. Now, unfortunately, they sold a few players from underneath me. So let's go to the transfers and transfer history. So out, you can see Yadam Yeboah got sold to Hollands and Blair. Pip Boyland got sold to London Tigers. That was my captain as well. Now, Chris Benjamin, who, who had a really good run uh, of games for me, got sold as well from under my nose. Codlack and Harrow. And, of course, Junior James got sold. And that's terrible because both of these are my fastest forwards. And that was for my uh, for my previous tactic. So, of course, I was looking for a new tactic to use because, basically, I'd just lost the best two players for that particular tactic. Um, and then I found this one, and this one works all right. Rob Sheridan got sold, James Yeboah, uh, Reese Goodwin, Sean Thurgood. But I think you already know about them. I'm not sure if you do or not. But there's pretty much... But I've got so many people going in <laughs> that um, it's really not much of a problem. So we'll go ahead and submit this team, and we will go ahead and start the match. And here we are kicking off the semi-final against Fairfield. Can we have a lot of possession once again? I would I would wager to bet we're definitely going to be over 55% uh, possession. I would pretty much, I doubt it would be any lower than that. Uh, we will have a lot of the ball in this game. And hopefully, this one seems to have abolished the long shots as well. I don't seem to get as many long shots because I'm pushing them further and further forwards. Oh, wow, we've got a first half of absolutely no highlight whatsoever i do apologize for an absolutely boring game <laughs> right let's just tell them that the result will come i'm sure it will we've had 56 percent of the ball at the moment that's actually quite less than what i thought it was going to be i would i would wager to guess we'll be over 55 percent but i was expecting to have more of the ball than uh, than what we'd currently do nothing is happening at the minute though guys We've had so much possession, nine shots, three on target, no clear-cut chances, four long shots. That's terrible. Oh no, it was my la it was my other, um, it was my other perf um, thingy that that did it, wasn't it? It was my other tactic that stopped the long shots, not this one. Well, we're gonna have to make a change, and I think Jordan Harrison really isn't doing that well. So Aaron Williams is going to come on. Ben Sampaio's had a right game, seven point two rated so far. Beecroft. I mean, I'm not going to change anything just now. I wonder if changing the striker might help out. Oh, here we are. Beecroft whipping the ball into the box. It's rattling around. It gets cleared as far as Bachelor. What's he going to do with it? Puts it in towards Novelli. Spend love. Beecroft. Look at how many players are forwards now. This is what I'm talking about. Williams spreading it to Sampaio. Mason back to Sampaio again. Gets cleared there towards Cook. And this is the only thing with us. We, we do get hit on the break, and we've got to be careful with that. Stavrinu, lovely ball over towards Mason. Gets into the box, pulls it back. Phillips! Hey, it's 1-0, and Phillips again. Danny Phillips, seventh goal of the season. And it what this, this tactic has really made Phillips come alive. Absolutely come alive with this tactic. He's in all sorts of really dangerous areas. And Phillips just showing exactly what he can do again. Cook managing to get a hand to it, but it wasn't enough to keep it out. And it's 1-0. And, f you know, much, much um, needed? Not needed. Oh, no. Oh, it's good, good, good hands there, Armstrong Ford. Um, much deserved. That's what the word. Look at this. Much deserved. Absolutely stifled Fairfield. And here's Williams now. Well, it goes for a long effort there, but unfortunately flying wide of that right-hand post. We're in the last 10 minutes, guys. And um, really, Fairfield haven't had a chance at the moment. Armstrong forward with the ball forwards to Bachelor. They're going to have to play better than that. Ball over the top there, Mason. Comes back to get it. Phillips. What a quality player he's turned out to be in this second half of this season. To, uh, in this season, Phillips again piles it off towards Mason. Great ball forwards, Williams. It's two 0 and surely that's all over now. Aaron Williams' fourth goal of the season, and I think he scored two of those during this particular tactic. It really does work very, very well, as you can probably see. Mason, lovely ball forwards, actually just broke that offside trap. And Williams slots it past, past the goalkeeper. I don't know what that goalkeeper's doing. He's having a like, nice little lounge there in the middle of the six-yard box. But it's 2-0, and I think it's going to end 2-0. I think it is, unless there's a, a late attack in here. They haven't even had a shot. Stavrinu, don't get sent off. We need you for the final, mate. 
Don't get sent off. Look at that. Not even one single shot from Fairfield at all. What a fantastic result that was. And uh, yeah, I think we can be pleased. So 58% possession, that's a great amount. Junior James is actually still the top scorer in this particular competition. But with the way that Danny Phillips is going, it wouldn't surprise me if he didn't pip him at the post. But that is that. Mid-Sussex win the Mid-Sussex Junior Cup semi-final with a 2-0 win over them, which is great. So I think if we continue on, we'll get the final. Chris Higgs deserves so much credit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would like to thank my mum. Oh, we're playing Stones too. Now I can't stand them. Oh no, that's the Tester Challenge Cup. <coughs> so who are we playing in the final, guys? That's the main, the main point. Here we go. The Mid-Sussex Junior Cup final against Unknown. Now, when will we know this? Because I want you guys to know who we're going to be playing in this next episode. Because the next episode will be the last episode of the season. Which is going to be great. We've done uh, we've done really well, actually, to catch up. I know that we're in February in real life. And really, I haven't got much done. Because I haven't, I haven't gone through one single season yet. But... We will catch up, guys, I'm pretty sure. We're doing really well so far. And with this particular formation, uh, this particular tactic, it is fantastic. It really is. Props to the guy who made it. And I, I was looking at it and I thought, actually, that sounds decent. That sounds like something that I could really, really use. And obviously, I downloaded it, tried it out, and it's fucking fantastic. Heath Rangers to play Stones 2 in the final. That's the Tester Challenge Cup final, though, not the one that we're after. We're still after the Mid-Sussex Junior Cup. Oh, there we go, look. Either East Grinstead Town 3 or Nutley 2. But you guys will see that in the next episode. We might have won a couple of finals by then. We've already won the league, so we're already promoted. It's it's just a case of AFC Uckfield the 4th in the Brian Hall Challenge... What? They're in the Mid-Sussex Football League Division 8. Okay. Um, West Hoadley 2, actually. Oh, oh, no, that's the league. Uh, Stones 2 in the cup, in the final, that will be a really good game because it usually is between me and Stones. And then either East Grinstead Town 3 or Nutley 2 in the Mid-Sussex Junior Cup. If we manage to win all three of these, that will be a, a great deal of money. Um, and interestingly enough, the finances have started to go back up now. Um, the other costs have gone way down. I don't know what they were, by the way, but we're starting to make some more money now, which I'm quite happy with. Which I'm quite happy with. Anyway, guys... Again, that is going to be the it for the end of this particular episode. We're doing fantastic as Heath Rangers so far. And Fair Warp have actually just gone above Kima and Hassocks now. So that's something to watch out for. But until next time, I've been the Soft Man. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, stay safe. Stop it.